All right, we, we have a family photo for you here. This is James Muhlberg and his aunt Barb Stemmler. So take a good look at this because this is Jim and Barb before, and this is James and Barb. Now they join me along with their weight loss coach, Charles D'Angelo. Absolutely, brilliant. you guys are amazing. Barb, it's so hard for women to lose weight. It's hard for women 50 and over to lose weight. You lost 60 pounds. How did you do it? What was the breakthrough? I just was in a very bad place in my life, going through a very difficult, long divorce, and self-medicated with food. And I just hit a really low point. And I feel like we all write our own life stories. Mm -hmm. And I was writing a tragedy, and I thought, why, why do that? Why not have an epic adventure instead? <laughs> wow, and what, it has been an adventure. You just it look has. fantastic. Thank you, you. How do you feel better? I feel 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> now, James, you're Barb's nephew. Yes. And you're watching this go on, and your before pictures tell the story Absolutely. of how your lifestyle was before. What was it that changed in you that brought on all of your changes? I think that one of the biggest things for me was that when you tell yourself your only worth and you're settling for who you currently are, you just fall into a deep depression. So seeing my aunt be reborn and alive and excited about being thin again and really enjoying herself was a big eye opener for me. And then that's something that I wanted to do with my life as well. Experience as well. Absolutely. And to inspire others, most definitely. So Barb, you found Charles D'Angelo and then uh, it was you who introduced James to Charles. Right. What did you, when you first met Barb, what did you think? I said to, my, to Barb and I said to myself that this is a woman that has a lot of insight into herself but simply is stuck in a lot of small negative habits. Remember, habits can't be broken, they're just replaced. So what I said to Barb was, what you're doing right now isn't some major, major terrible choice. It's the little things that are accumulating over time. Success comes from making the right choices hour after hour day after day, week after week, month after month, and over time you have radical success, as does failure. Failure comes not after one day of bad choice or after one week, it comes after months, after years, and then you wake up one day, as Barb did at six years, James did at 27, she needed to lose 60 pounds and him needed to lose 100, and both had done it because they changed their philosophy and changed their attitude. Mm -hmm. Remember, I always look at this as a three-legged stool. One leg is healthy eating, which both of them now are adamantly about and exercise. They both walk on the treadmill, but they really shifted their mindset and got that in place. Okay, so Barb, you were saying you were writing a tragedy. Why not continue down that road? Something in you must have said you wanted to do this. Because you could have stayed with all your old habits, right? Oh, I was miserable. I felt I was stuck. I felt my life was over. And that's, that's no way to feel. Mm -hmm. Because 60 sounds old, but it's not. And I mean, my life has started over. I decided not not to end my life so young. And, and James, to raise your standards. Right, and James, mm -hmm. 100 pounds at the age of 27. <laughs> How do you look at your future differently? I um, definitely think that I just have a lot more coming for me, rather it be with my career or with my family. Um, most definitely, I think the biggest thing for me is just to continue to inspire people who I work with on a daily basis and eventually my family for sure. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. I, it, it, just to listen to you both really is inspiring. And Charles, you're helping Angela Bassett, the Angela yes, Bassett. Yes, yes, yes. She Sam gave me Ware. a really, really nice endorsement uh, for my helping her. And I keep kind of a cone of science with clients, but I have to say that next Friday her movie Olympus Has Fallen comes out <laughs> March 22nd, so everyone should go see it. It looks amazing. I haven't seen it yet, and she's in phenomenal shape. And as I always say, that if you'll plant the seed, God will take care of building the tree. If you do what you can, the best way you can, God will work the miracle, as these both, have, mm -hmm. both of these people have seen, that you've got to do the work, and it's not that big of a change. It's making these small little changes consistently, and you can see the radical transformations that you want to see, like these two have. Thank you, Charles. Barb and James, continued success, and thanks for sharing your story. Thank you for joining us for First at Four. Jeopardy's up next, and then in 30